Please don't be gross. Please don't be gross. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a winner so far. That's not it. Nope. Whoa. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited about today's video because I'm going to be... I tried to do that like cool TikTok transition thing. Anyways, if you couldn't read it, whatever, I'm gonna be recreating and taste testing healthy TikTok snacks. Before I get any further into this video, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me. And while you're there, tap the notification bell so you can be notified every time that I post. I've been aiming for weekly uploads on Wednesdays at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let me know in the comments if that time works for you, if that's fine with you, if you don't care, but that's gonna be probably my upload schedule from here on out. If no one suggests anything else, well then. It is Wednesday, my dudes. So let's go ahead and get on into the video and start making these healthy recipes. I thought I'd kick off this video first by making these avocado brownies. Use one half cup oat flour, one fourth cup cocoa powder, one half teaspoon salt and baking soda and mix it together. Use one whole avocado and mash it up until it looks like this. Then add two eggs, one half cup maple syrup and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix that together, the grosser it looks, the better it'll taste and then fold in your dry ingredients until it looks like this. The recipe calls for oat flour, I don't have that, I have almond flour, so we're just gonna hope that that works. They talk so fast in these recipe videos. Can you guys slow down? A lot of people have asked me what my TikTok is. Um, I actually do have an account, but it's private. I actually don't make videos. Um, so there's really no point in knowing what my username is because I just lurk and then like a bunch of videos. There are some rumors flying around that um, TikTok may be banned in the US, which you know, that's pretty sad to hear. But for 2020, that's very on brand. Like any last bit of happiness and joy and laughter I have in my life, just take it away. Because that's just how 2020 is, you know? Just stripping me of my absolute pride and joy. So why not? But you know, who knows? It's a rumor, it could be a lie. America's full of lies. I've only learned one dance, personally. I know the savage dance, which is so pre-global pandemic. I don't have any rhythm. Like I am the true definition of a white person that has absolutely no rhythm. Honestly, I'm lucky that I can even clap my hands together on beat at this point. If you guys wanna know how truly bad I am at dancing and I'm not exaggerating this at all, I went to a friend's wedding and she had a very Indian cultured wedding and um, everyone in her family and her um, husband's family was really good at dancing. Like really good at dancing. Not me, not me. I sat at my little table. I didn't bother getting up and dancing. Someone in the family, I didn't know if it was like on the bride's side or the groom's side, but it was an older gentleman, maybe like a grandfather or a father or something, saw me sitting by myself and he grabbed my hand and told me to the middle of the dance floor and he tried to get me to dance. He didn't speak much English, you know, that's okay, but he definitely just tried to tell me to move my hips. Okay, my hips really don't move. He tried so hard to make me a good dancer. He tried to help me to, to hear the music and to feel the music and to dance with the music, but I was just not feeling it, okay? I am Wonder Bread White. I have no rhythm, I have none of that, okay? My only extracurricular was volleyball. I never did dance or cheer or anything like that. It was not happening. But anyways, he persisted. He tried a few songs. He looked at me and in his very, Broken English, he said, pretty, but no rhythm. And I've never related to anything more ever in my life. And that was the beginning and end of my dance career. Thank you. Okay, I think my avocado is squished down enough and now I'm adding in the eggs. I'm just gonna add in the dry ingredients here. I have my eight by eight pan here. And if you remember this, then you're a real one. I've had some memories, me in this pan. For some extra flair, I'm gonna add in some of these Lily's chocolate chips. All right, the brownies are gonna make for about 20, 25 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Here is what the avocado brownie looks like. Okay, here goes the taste test. Um, I'm pretty nervous about this. I wanna like it, I so badly wanna like it. Mm -mm. 
I really wanted to like that because that would have been such a healthy brownie alternative. It wasn't even like a subtle avocado. It was like, as I was chewing, I felt like I was just eating avocado with chocolate. Yeah, I hate to say it, but that one's gotta be zero out of five stars. Like that wasn't even kind of good. All right, next recipe are these Sour Patch Grapes. I can already guess that these aren't gonna taste like Sour Patch Kids. I feel like when you label something to what it's exactly supposed to taste like, you're disappointed. You know, if these were just like healthy sugar grapes, I don't know, that would, I feel like, be more appealing. Less room to be let down, I guess. Fun fact about these grapes, actually, yesterday when I was at Target getting them, I was in self-checkout and the barcode like wasn't registering and they weren't ringing up. So one of the employees came over to help me and she just like rolled her eyes and she said, this always happens. So she went on the computer and she only charged me 99 cents for them. And I'm pretty sure they were like $4 grapes. So shout out to that Target employee, he's a real MVP. All right, now it's time to roll them in the sugar and dip. Okay, this is gonna take me a hot minute, so I'll just catch up with you when I'm finished. Here are the grapes before I put them in the freezer. I'm gonna let them chill for about 30 minutes to an hour or so. I want them to get pretty cold, but I don't want them to be like hard as a rock, you know what I mean? Okay, here goes the taste test. It's really strange because I drenched these grapes in lime juice and I really don't taste the lime juice. It just tastes like a sugar-coated grape. I'm gonna give the Sour Patch grapes two out of five stars. The next recipe I really can't see going wrong. It honestly looks delicious and there's only three ingredients. Watermelon, lemon, and mint. watermelon chunks here. Okay, now to add in a little bit of mint. Okay, let's hope that this can actually blend. While the camera was off, I added more watermelon, more lemon, more mint, and I blended it all up and I'm gonna add it into a little container and you guessed it, it's going in the freezer. Honestly, right now, like it is, it's not the prettiest color, but this would already make like an amazing frozen mixed drink. The consistency is actually like really nice right now, but I think just freezing it for just a little bit is gonna thicken it up just a smidge and make it um, that much better. Can we appreciate this texture though? Okay, it looks great and it smells great, but how does it taste? Mm. This one. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a winner so far. It's refreshing, it's light, it's healthy. It's seriously delicious. Mm. I have to stop eating this, but this is um, five out of five stars. I feel like I couldn't have made a healthy TikTok snack video if I didn't include the cookie dough hummus. All flour can become pizza, you my friend can become cookie dough. First you gotta rinse your beans. Beans in a blender, a fourth a cup of peanut butter, two teaspoons of vanilla, three tablespoons of almond flour if we're going gluten-free, and two tablespoons of Aunt Jemima. Oh, and a little bit of salt bay action. Now pop it on your blender because it's party time. I've already rinsed and strained the beans and I'm gonna be trying to use a food processor this time. She says blender, but I feel like this is gonna work better because her blender is not what I have, so. Then I'm gonna be adding in a quarter cup of peanut butter, two teaspoons of vanilla. I'm gonna be using the Lily's chocolate chips again to add in. Here we have the hummus or the chickpea cookie dough. Okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> Shut up. No way. It doesn't necessarily taste like cookie dough, it just kind of tastes like a sweet little dessert. This is surprisingly good considering I had very low standards for this, so I would actually give this a four out of five stars. The last TikTok snack I'm sharing with you guys today are kale chips. Let's make crispy ranch kale chips. First, let's toss our kale in some olive oil and then add this ranch seasoning. And just a pinch of salt and pepper because the ranch is already flavorful. Air fry for seven minutes at 325. Try it, you might like it.
I already rinsed and ripped my kale and I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil. Then I'm adding in some ranch seasoning. And she said just a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna throw these in the air fryer for seven minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm gonna be trying the ranch kale chips. I followed the TikTok cooking instructions, but they definitely look like they burnt just a little bit. You know, kale chip ASMR. Okay, for anyone that hates hearing people crunch or chew, mute this video real quick. They're not bad. The ranch seasoning definitely hits home for me. I love ranch. I feel like if I didn't overcook them, they would be even better, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised with these. They're not my favorite thing in the world, but they are pretty good and they were better than expected. So for that, I'm gonna give them a three out of five. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, it'd mean a lot to me if you gave the video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this style of video, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see anything similar to this in the future. Again, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you're around for more videos. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.